Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I'm going to show you a spring themed seamless repeating pattern using the diamond repeat method. Head to canva.com. Once you're logged in, head to create a design. I'm going to choose custom size. This document will be 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels. Once you've entered in your dimensions, hit create new design. So in order to do the diamond repeat method, we'll need a diamond. Press R on your keyboard to bring up a rectangle. You can also go to elements and shapes and grab the square. You're going to take your rectangle and rotate it 45 degrees. Grab one of the corners and enlarge it to fit. If you press and hold shift on your keyboard while enlarging the rectangle, it will maintain proportions. So enlarge it to fit the entire document size. So here I'm just making sure that it's in the center and indeed as large as the document. This is going to serve as your guide to keep your elements within. Once you have your diamond, you may decide to reduce the opacity. You can make the diamond whatever color you prefer. In this example, I will be deleting the diamond once I've created my pattern. A good tip would be to lock your diamond so that it stays put as you add your elements. So after you have your diamond situated, now it's time to grab your elements. So since this is a spring themed seamless repeating pattern, I'm going to head to elements and type spring in the search bar. So now I'm going to go through the elements and grab ones that I think I want to use. Once you have the elements you think that you're going to use, you can decide which ones you want to keep. Now would be the time to change the colors of any elements if you choose. As you are arranging your elements, you want to keep them within the diamond. This will help when it's time to create our pattern. Once you have all of your elements arranged within your diamond, a good tip would be to duplicate that page, just in case you need to go back to any of the elements or this pattern block. You're going to select all the elements and group them. And at this point, you can delete the diamond. After you group your elements, you want to make sure that the group is centered on the page. So now it's time to create the pattern. You're going to select your group and copy and paste. Take that copy and move it to the upper left hand corner, waiting for the horizontal and vertical pink lines to show up at the corner. Take another copy of the group and move it to the upper right hand corner, waiting for the pink horizontal and vertical lines to show up. Take another copy and move it to the lower left hand corner waiting for the pink horizontal and vertical lines to show up. And take the last copy and move it to the lower right hand corner, 
waiting for the pink horizontal and vertical lines to show up. So here you have your initial pattern block. Now it's time to test our pattern. We're going to download this page as an image. Head to share and download and download this page as a PNG. Add a blank page to your document. Head to Uploads and upload the file you just downloaded from Canva. Once you have that image uploaded, click on it to add it to your document. Take the image and move it to the upper left hand corner of your document. Click on one of the corners and resize it until it's 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels. Make a copy of it and move it to the upper right hand corner. Make another copy and put it in the lower left hand corner. Make one final copy and move it to the lower right hand corner. So here we have our seamless repeating pattern using the diamond method. I liked how this pattern turned out, but I wanted to make it better. So now I'm going to take the elements that we were just using and rework them a little bit to create a pattern where we can see the diamond a little bit better. So with the reworking of this pattern, I'm going to move some of the elements to the side and focus on my corners. I'm taking this yellow flower and the dragonfly and I'm going to put it in the four corners of the diamond. Then I'm going to arrange my elements within the diamond. So a tip that I feel would be helpful when trying to do the seamless repeating pattern using the diamond repeat method is to keep in mind what elements you're putting in the corner of your diamond when you first start to arrange the elements within the diamond because whatever you put in those four corners once you test your pattern those are going to be the things that are pointing at each other and you want to keep that in mind as you're arranging your elements so here are both of the patterns that I created in this video this is the first pattern that I made earlier in the video and this is the second pattern that I just made a few moments ago. So which one of these patterns do you like best? I personally like the second one better because I feel like I can see the diamond a little bit better. This concludes the video on how to make a seamless repeating pattern using the diamond repeat method. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching.